where do I even start from? <laughs> where do I start from? Like, in my last video, not my last video, in one of my recent videos where I talked about building a hair care regimen, I decided I wanted to take care of my hair better. And I want to start doing that by letting someone cut off all the split ends and starting on a healthy basis. So, I found this woman on Facebook. I'm still not going to learn anything about finding people on Facebook. <laughs> I found this woman on Facebook and we were discussing about doing a shampoo and trimming my hair. So I called her early this morning and unfortunately she's on unfortunately for me. But fortunately for her, she's on a maternity leave. But she said she could receive me at home. We did talk about her method and she did not tell me anything. We are sure she did not tell me anything. Uh, I'm actually worried about her method. I asked her how she goes about trimming the hair and she said she needs to see my hair first. I mean, like, if you have a method, like, even if you have different methods depending on the type of hair, you should at least give me ideas of what you do depending on the... So she did not say anything. So I'm actually really worried. And the fact that I have to go to her house... <sighs> Being a natural in Cameroon is a headache. It's complicated. I am just going to bear the risk and go. I am going to bear that risk and go, hoping she does not ruin my hair. Fingers crossed. She does not ruin my hair. Pray with me. <laughs> Let me take you along. Where do I even start from? <laughs> Where do I start from? Like, I... Am I mad? I am. I am not mad. I can't blame anybody. I cannot blame anybody at this point. Like, let me just try to tell you what happened since I left the house. So, I left my place and I got a bike to where her salon is supposed to be. Then she asked me to take another bike to her house. Once I got there, we finally saw each other. I entered and the place was in no way prepared to receive clients. It's not a space where you can receive clients for shampoo and all what not. I did not even see any tool for her there. I was like, what is she going to use? Is it like she has a bag inside that she's going to take out to take care of my hair? And I just, she just gave me a chair. I sat there and the baby was crying and disturbing and so... I had bantu knots in, so I took them out, out and I did the finger detangling while she was trying to calm the baby. Then after that, no combing, nothing, no detangling, anything. Thank God I, I actually started detangling my hair with my fingers before any other thing. So after that, she took one bucket and put warm water inside and went outside. I had to let my hair like this, just like I would normally do when I'm at home. And that's exactly what I did. We just did the shampoo, only shampoo. The baby started crying again. And she left me there, took care of the baby. When she came back, my hair was almost dry. You know, I have high porosity hair, so it just gets dry like that. It took a while to comb and try to dangle my hair, but gave up. Then took a small comb. Let me show you this. This same comb. Took it. I was trying to comb through my hair, which I was like, no, no. I do not use this comb in my hair. I might use it to part, but I do not use it to dangle my hair. She was like, if your hair was not so so dry and so so hard so difficult we could use this without any problems i don't use that comb she understood i appreciated her for that she understood and stopped using it she just parted and used the white soap comb to to detangle then twist it ah i skipped the part where she oiled my scalp no oil touched the length of my hair Nothing, no oil touched 
the length of my hair. My hair is completely dry now. I think I'll have to shampoo it again. So after that, she just parted my hair like this and twisted. After twisting, she just trimmed the ends, trimmed them. That's why my hair looks blunt like this. I just took out this twist. It was as blunt as this one. I just took out the twist and when I retwisted it, this is what it looked like. Let me just unravel it for you to see what is going on. My hair is completely dry already. Look at, look at my ends. Look at the ends that are supposed to be trimmed. Look, look at the ends that are supposed to be trimmed. I don't know what I should do now. Why should I? I did not even talk about this, the, the, the scissor she used. Let me get mine. Use something like this to trim the ends, like the same scissors we used to, to cut braiding hair. That's the same thing she used to cut. Hers were even bigger than this, so I guess all the twists are like this. The ends still look very bad. It's not the dangle. Like I I can't blame anybody. I can't blame anybody. And the shampoo she uses from her brand, she made a brand, she got trained to do all this and and I'm wondering what type of training, who offers the training like I know that up to date there's no certified training for for not for hair in general in Cameroon. The government does not even care about that. Just it is just an informal job for them. You just do anyhow you want to do it. I know people do curly cuts. I know people do stuff like that, but I did not expect her to use the same method I would use in the house to trim my own ends. Because I've been doing that, I've trimmed my ends like that before. I, I expected something different. I don't know, I expected like a blowout, then trim it all. I expected something different. I expected more method, more care, more. I don't know, maybe I'm expecting too so much. Is it that I'm, I'm, I, my own is just too much? Tell me, what do you think? Ah, I can't even blame anybody. She's just trying her best. In this country where there's no regulation, nothing, no, no certified training, no certification, nothing. Everybody just does what he or she likes. I cannot really blame anybody. I do not blame her. I do not. I do not. So. Ah, let's just, let's call it a day. That's all I have for you in this video. So. I would normally have to trim my hair again here, following her makeup. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Like, just take care, take care. Things are going to get better. I pray things get better for this country soon. I pray we have more people who take this thing seriously. I pray we grow in this natural hair stuff. And uh, things are definitely going to get better. Take care. Bye.